Welcome back. So now the Git checkout is at version 027. And uh, let's have a look here. Um, this lesson, I'm going to do a few things. The first thing, I've changed this. I explained why in the last video. We don't want to uh, waste space on a key value pair with only the only key that's available. So that's why we're removing everything from the local storage. So that's all I changed inside the auth service this lesson. I made another change, and that is inside the login component. Now, what I did here is pretty much just that whenever I touch the login screen, whenever I get to a login page, I automatically log out. So the first thing I'm doing with the constructor, when I create the component is I log in, uh, sorry, log out, meaning that I'm always logged out when I hit the login page. And we can change this later if we want to, but it's just to make sure that you're always logged out when you start on the login page. And it's also to make it easier for us to actually reroute uh, to the login page in a second. So that's all I changed here, line 20, where I added this new auth logout as soon as I create the login component. Good. Now over to the stuff that I actually really want to talk about, and that's the toolbar component right here. Because what we want to achieve is, we want to achieve that when I click the sign out, I get a small pop-up, you're logged out, and I can sign in again because I just got into the login screen again. And when I sign in, I get the sign out here instead of sign in, and then another pop-up, the snack bar down here. So that's the goal of the lesson. Let's try it out here. First of all, when I sign out, let's just do that and go back to the page. Now it actually says sign in up here, not sign out. Now, how do I make that change? So it says sign in, sign out. Well, actually it's pretty simple. Going to the toolbar component HTML file here. If you have a look here on the button, all I've added inside the sign in button is this NGF. And I'm saying if there's not a user available. Now the user I mean here is actually the, the user signed in. So if there's no user signed in right now, show this link right here. Let's see what the user actually is inside our code or our TS file. I open the TS file and there's a new property available here called user. And that's the type of user. And it's set right here as I construct this with this auth current user. So that's from the auth service, right? where I pull out the current user available, and that could be null, it can also be a real user from the local storage. I hope that makes sense. So back to my toolbar, TS file. I save the current user here, and then when the tool wakes up, <laughs> when this guy is actually shown, it'll figure out if there is a use, if there's not a user, if he's not available, then you can show the sign in. And if the user is available, you need to show something new here. You need to show a lock out button sign out and the only difference is I actually added another icon called sign out instead of sign in and I added a small click event we'll look at that in a second so let's so again I hope this makes sense it's very simple if there's a user available locked in show this line if there's not a user available show this line that's all I'm doing and the user is the guy I get from the auth service depending on that if there's a user or not now the click event the click event is then fired if I click the sign out button and that's where I made a new Event, uh, sorry, a new function right here called logout inside our top toolbar component. Now what that, do that does is pretty much the same as when we rerouted ourselves inside the login component in the previous video. So when I find, when I subscribed and there was a user available and he was logged in, I reroute the exact same way right here. So I just copy pasted that code from here and changed it around a bit. So it says logout instead. But what does that actually contain? First of all, I need to have the routing and the snack bar available as dependency injections. So that was the first thing I did. The second thing is I need to use that router that I just dependency injected to navigate to the login page. And when I'm there, then I want to pop up, you are locked out with the snack bar. And how long should that show for three seconds in my case? So that means that I'm done. Now I can log in and I, and I can log out. And it'll actually show the different links here. So sign in, Put in some sign-in information here. Logging in pops up with a sign out here instead of sign in. If I sign out, going back to the login page and it says you're logged out. And if I jump back here, you'll now see sign in here instead of sign out. That's how easy it is. So that's how we actually make the, the bar show different uh, things depending on if we're logged in or logged out. See you in the next lesson where we just make a few more changes and then we'll get on with some really, really nice stuff.